Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back for a quick little episode of Kerbal Space Program. I just installed the KOS mod, and um, thought we'd have some fun with it. I've been uh, tweaking the script a little bit. I haven't run this particular version, but we'll see if we can get to orbit. So let's switch to zero, our archive. Copy launcher one to one, which is our ship. Switch to one, whoops, switch two, one, and run launcher one. There's our countdown. Uh, I haven't quite figured out the roll yet. So we pivot 180 degrees on launch, but that's okay. We didn't lose control at least. So our next, uh, Command happens at an altitude of 1,000. Start to ease back on the throttle, as we can see there. And it's very subtle at first. Now I am running Ferrum Aerospace. Um, I'm still very used to just the stock aerodynamic model. So uh, I'm not quite sure what the you know optimal. Um, kind of velocity uh, tables would be for launches in Ferrum, but uh, that's all stuff to figure out in the future, I suppose. Alright, uh, as soon as we reach an altitude of 6,000 meters, we'll see our next change here. Beginning a gravity turn. And so there, the roll seemed to change again for some reason. And I don't have a uh, particularly good formula here for the gravity turn. Um, I just basically have something that starts at 75 degrees, and by the time your altitude reaches um, uh, did I do something wrong here? No, no, no. By the time your altitude reaches 40,000, you should be pointed at the horizon. soon be at 14,000, and at that point our engines will go back up to full, so they reach the 50% uh, mark right before they go back up to full. And we see it's still nosing down very slowly. Engines have cut, coasting to Apoapsis. Now the next thing will be when our altitude is greater than 100 kilometers. Oops. A little tough uh, getting the window focus right. Oh, actually, uh, no, here we go. Plug steering to prograde. That happened first. So let's get out of the atmosphere first. And then I'll time warp until we are 90 something kilometers up. That should be good. Alright, heading still locked onto the prograde. 
Now I do not calculate the optimal time for the burn. I'm not sure how I would do that because I just picked this up like 25 minutes ago. Um, yes, our epilepsis is still above 100 kilometers, so that's good. And then we're not going for a perfect circle, but for at least 99 kilometers periapsis. Any second now. There we go. Let's see our periapsis climbing up. So is our epilapsis though. Okay, so that's not terribly circular. But yeah, circularization burn complete. And uh, that should be everything. It uh, was supposed to say bye at the end. Hmm. Oh no, yeah, because I didn't change this. That's 100 kilometers. That's okay. So it's, it would still need to be tweaked a little bit, but there we go. We at least got into orbit completely automated. All right, I've been Alamon. Uh, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the Kraken bite. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.